And hello from the stadium that was the main venue for the 2012 Olympics here in the English capital. We're at the London Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And on this day, the 5th of November, we hope to be able to bring you illuminating football action. It's West Ham United taking on Liverpool. Well, thanks, Derek. Yeah, I'm expecting plenty of fireworks on the pitch, at least from the players. It should be a good game, though. I'm looking forward to this one. Fabinho. Precise ball movement. But then the one that goes astray. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. The experienced Lukas Fabianski stands between the posts. Kurt Zuma plays with Angelo Ogbonna in central defence. And the idea is surely and a goal! That is a very bright start. Perfect way to open. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. And the Hammers get the ball moving again. Will there be a quick reply from them? There needs to be. Salah and this is Diogo Jota now useful looking ball he's just got to continue his run again the woodwork well that would certainly have put them in a great position but with only a one goal lead they're never going to be able to relax great opportunity Mane and off the frame again well thumped clear Will he find the net? In it goes! Delighted to be two in front. Things look good for them now. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such winning. Great goal. in a position of menace Henderson oh incredible save and he snuffed out the danger now a short corner here Mohamed Salah now and here's Robertson master it surely effective challenge Mane here's Salah and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time he's protecting it effectively for Niles promising attack this Antonio, well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Well, as the stats confirm, Liverpool had the lion's share of the ball. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball, which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. He continues his run. Fabinho Jota foiling them effectively well nearing the half-time interval and suffice it to say they're not making great use of home advantage Stuart your assessment 
Well, they can certainly play better than this. It's been a disappointing first half display from them. But if they can just play with more urgency and energy in the second half, they can get back into this. They definitely have the quality. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Henderson. Did well to win the ball back. Succeeded in keeping it in play. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Fabinho. Now Mane. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. Playing it short. Alexander Arnold. Cutting in. What can he do from this position? And a useful cross. No keeper in control. Well, the short corner routine. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, Sadio Mane, as ever, Stuart, bringing some of his best form. So back underway here, and West Ham left with a real mountain to climb in the second half. Can they respond? Thiago. Fabinho. And this is Diogo Jota now. Salah. Alexander Arnold. And Thiago. It must go in, surely. And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. Substitution time as is. Back underway here, and Liverpool handing out a very harsh lesson. Suchek. It looks promising. Antonio. Well, a good tackle. Diogo Jota. Salah. Fabinho. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display.
we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Press well. Great block. Matip. Alexander Arnold. Fabinho, Diogo Jota, Henderson has it, well that's one for them to pursue, Fabinho, and blocked for now, Henderson, Henderson, Santiago, Sadio Mane's cross, touched onto the woodwork. Oh, chance taken! There is opportunism for you, but a disappointed goalkeeper. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. Antonio, beautifully weighted ball, it might be on for them. Suchek, could be dangerous, tremendous ball played through, well they pulled one back but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. A glut of goals, 5-1 it is. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. For Niles. On the ball, Mikael Antonio. Declan Rice. What a crucial intervention inside the box. Mane, here is Thiago, and the electronic board has been held aloft, three additional minutes here, Diogo Jota, Henderson, and he did well to cut it out, the whistle for full time and a bad day at the office as far as West Ham are concerned, what did you think of their overall performance? It was the nature of the performance more than anything else. They never got out of second gear and were completely dominated all over the park. Tell you what, though, I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now. And at the final analysis, a top-level contribution from Diogo Jota. How many times do we say that? The answer is rather a lot. Stuart, what did you make of what he put into the game? 
Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.